He came out, said, I'm sorry that everybody's been affected by the postponement. I'm still completely shocked and surprised by this, and it has been a tough couple of days. My team and I will consider the next options, including rescheduling the fight, but my immediate concern is on clearing my name because I'm a clean athlete. Correy, is he a clean athlete? What is it? No, he's not a clean athlete. You just got busted, dude. And look, this is a thing right here. In UK, in the UK, they don't test like Vada test. That would have slipped up under. Yep. They say if that was in the U under UK, they would have never caught that fam. So when he get out there and say, I'm a clean athlete, he's standing on that, JJ. Yep. That's just like spitting, not only spitting in my face, your face, and everybody from the 214 to across the pond, fam. The best thing that he could have did was came out here and took your lumps. Yep. Took it like a man. We are, Everybody mess up, B. We all make mistakes. Like, we all make crucial mistakes. Good I done one. made yes. a crucial mistake where I had to put my pride to the side, Jay, and just accept what I had to accept. And for Conor Ben not to do that, that's spitting in every human being face from the 214 to across the pond. Yup, man. There's something about owning up to your, your shit. You know, and it's almost the same feeling I have with the, when some of these fighters have excuses after they lose, and we always say you're never going to grow if you don't accept the loss. Well, if you do something wrong, that wrong, and you don't fess up to it, you don't acknowledge it and take accountability, you're never going to grow from it. And you're right, you're spitting on the fan's face. You're spitting on the undercard's face. You're spitting on your family name. You're spitting on Gerald McClellan and his family. You're sp spitting on everybody to look the cameras in the eyes and say, I don't, you had to know something, man. It ain't going to pop up on the test. This is a female drug that's specifically for women's hormones. Like, there's no reason it should be anywhere near a man. <laughs> Damn. He, he was trying to willing to go that let take some female shit. And, JJ, you know that type of drug, it clear out your system in three to four days, right? That's what they said. So he played it wrong, fam. Like this is like I if man, I hope you can make a stand on this and block him for four years because this will set a precedence for everybody. And like I said, you can't they got to fix up that shit. Think about how many other I think about how many other fighters in the UK then had to fight like this, but if you really think about it, they don't even playing field. But it's a lot of people who doing it the right way. You can't sit up here and tell me, JJ, people in the UK know that UK don't test for these different type of drugs. They're not going to push it to the limit. How many other fighters yeah. from the UK? I, got, I talked to Clarissa Shields. I said, Clarissa Shields, I hope y'all took Vada testing over there. She said, we did, champ. We did, champ. And she said it just like that, too, did she? Yeah, she, man, it's... It's a problem, Correa. Do you think the uh, picture that's on the screen is deserved? It? <laughs> Did he deserve it? Oh, is he absolutely. a Pinocchio? Oh, he's the modern day 2022 Pinocchio, fam. And like I said, he's a disgrace to the sport right now because he's standing on it, fam. Fam, don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to your family. Don't do it to the sport of boxing because we're not going to look at you the same. <laughs>